Japan, one of the world's most advanced economies, has always led the way in cutting-edge technology. But now, they're taking a bold leap with a $50 billion investment in a project that could change transportation forever. A levitating train. This isn't just a boost for Japan's travel sector, it's a game-changer for the entire economy, promising to connect cities faster than ever and drive new growth. So, what makes this floating maglev train worth such a massive investment? And how will it impact Japan and the world? Today, we're uncovering the secrets behind Japan's revolutionary maglev project and exploring why this high-speed marvel is the future of travel. Friends, it is everyone's dream to turn hours of travel into minutes. But now, this dream is going to become a reality. And the credit for this goes to Japan's new maglev train project. This project is a symbol of technological revolution, not only for Japan, but for the whole world. This train of Japan is based on magnetic technology, which we call magnetic levitation, maglev. In this technology, the train rises about 10 centimeters above the tracks and floats in the air and runs at a speed of more than 500 kilometers per hour without any friction. This reduces the travel time considerably and the journey is very smooth and peaceful. Talking about the speed of this train, it is twice as fast as the bullet train. While Japan's bullet train runs at a speed of 300 kilometers per hour, the maglev train will run faster than 500 kilometers per hour. This means that the journey from Tokyo to Nagoya, which usually takes one hour 40 minutes by bullet train, can be completed in just 40 minutes by maglev train. Not only this, in future, the journey from Tokyo to Osaka can be completed in just one hour by this train. This will not only save time, but will also open new avenues for business and tourism. This project is unique in the world in terms of time saving and infrastructure. Now let's talk about the engineering of this project and the challenges behind it. The first phase of the Chorshing Kansen Maglev project is about 286 kilometers long and 90% of it is being built inside tunnels. These tunnels are very complex because in many parts, these tunnels are more than a kilometer deep. This decision was taken so that its impact on the environment is minimal and there is no problem due to construction in densely populated areas. In an earthquake prone country like Japan, constructing tunnels is a big challenge. So the entire process is being done using state of the art technologies. Special types of high strength steel and concrete are being used to protect the tunnels and train tracks from earthquakes so that no natural disaster can affect this project. The maglev train, which is based on magnetic levitation technology, is one of the fastest trains in the world. Its speed can exceed 600 kilometers per hour, and modern braking systems are used to control it. The most prominent among these is the regenerative braking system, which converts the kinetic energy of the train into electrical energy, reducing its speed. This not only helps in stopping the train safely, but also saves energy, making it an environment-friendly option. In addition, the aerodynamic design of the maglev train is designed in such a way that it can reduce air resistance, making the train more stable and energy efficient. The outer structure of the train is very smooth and without any protrusions, which helps in increasing its speed even more. The interior of the train has been designed keeping in mind the comfort of the passengers. Passengers do not feel any jerk or vibration despite the high speed of the train, making the journey extremely comfortable. The interiors of the train use special comfortable seats that are designed keeping long distance travel in mind. The windows are made of large and transparent glass, allowing passengers to enjoy the views outside to the fullest. Special technology is used on these windows so that the views do not get blurred despite the speed. Apart from this, Wi-Fi, entertainment screens, and other modern amenities are also provided inside the train to keep passengers connected and entertained during the journey. The noise-free operation of the train gives passengers a quiet environment, making the travel experience comfortable and enjoyable despite the high speed. The Cho Shinkansen, also known as the Tokaido Shinkansen Bypass, is a new train line that will connect Tokyo and Nagoya. The line is being built gradually and will use advanced maglev, magnetic levitation, technology. 
When completed, the line will provide a direct connection between Tokyo and Nagoya and reduce travel time by about 40 minutes compared to the current Tokaido Shinkansen line. The line will later be extended to Osaka, taking the journey to there in just 67 minutes. Tickets for travel on the new line will be available in 2027. Trains will run at speeds of up to 505 km per hour, compared to the world record of 603 km per hour for this technology. The line will consist of 256.6 km of tunnels, 11.3 km of bridges, and 4.1 km of rail track. The project is being managed by Central Japan Railway Company, JR Central and is estimated to cost 5.52 trillion yen, 52 billion US dollars. They have ordered 14 new series L0 maglev trains, which are currently on trial runs on the Yamanashi maglev test line. However, the project is also fraught with challenges. The first challenge is its enormous cost. The total cost of the project is in billions of dollars, and this is because of the cutting-edge materials and technology used for it. The construction process of the tunnels and tracks being built to run this train is highly complex. The advanced engineering techniques and structural designs used in it are extremely expensive. Apart from this, many questions are also being raised about the impact on the environment during the construction of the project. There are chances of water level being affected during the digging of the tunnels, and due to this, there is a delay in getting approval from the local administration in some areas. Financial viability has also emerged as a big question. The ever-increasing cost has put pressure on the financial condition of the project. Despite this increased cost, Japan is continuing with this project, as its success is expected to bring tremendous economic benefits to the country. This project will not only reduce travel time, but will also add a new dimension to the country's economy, transportation and innovation. Japan has always been ahead of the world in the field of technology, and this maglev train is a great example of this. This train is going to completely change the travel experience within the country. The travel time, which is currently measured in hours, will change it to minutes. This will not only increase the convenience of passengers, but will also give new impetus to business and tourism. The success of this project of Japan will also become a source of inspiration for other countries. Countries like Europe, China and India can also consider adopting this technology. Apart from Japan, maglev trains are being operated in many countries of the world. The Shanghai maglev in China is the world's fastest commercial train, running at 431 km per hour. Germany developed the Transrapid, while South Korea's KTXM successfully tested at 400 km per hour. France has high-speed TGV trains, and maglev projects are proposed in the US as well, which may use this technology in the future. Japan's $50 billion maglev train isn't just a leap forward in transportation, it's a bold vision for the future of travel and economic growth. As this groundbreaking technology reshapes high-speed rail, it might inspire other nations to follow suit. Thanks for joining us on this journey into Japan's high-tech marvel. If you're as excited about the future of transportation as we are, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more deep dives into revolutionary tech around the world. See you in the next video.